I'm Miss McGowan. I'm one of the band directors here in Ozark. Normally this time of year, all of the fifth graders would be hopping on a bus and heading down here to the high school auditorium to enjoy a concert presented to you by the high school wind symphony. This year is a little bit different and we're not able to do that. So I'm making a video for you. Soon you're gonna be signing up for classes at the middle school and we want you to know how awesome it is to be a member of our band family. I know this place looks pretty empty now, but in a normal year, our band students would perform two live concerts in this awesome auditorium for their friends and family. Every year we have about 250 of you decide that you wanna try band in the sixth grade. That's about half of all fifth graders decide that they want to uh, be a member of band in the sixth grade. Who knows, maybe this will be our largest year yet. Maybe we can shoot for 300 in our sixth grade band. I'm Mrs. Ford and I'm gonna be working with the flutes. Hi, I'm Mrs. Fott and I work with the woodwinds. Hi, I'm Mr. Chapman and I teach percussion. Hi, I'm Mrs. Love. I'll be working with the woodwinds and then also the jazz bands in Ozark. Hi, I'm Mr. Meyer, the director of bands here at Ozark. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some wonderful things about being in band. How creative playing music is and how much fun it is to play different kinds of music. In band, we play fast songs, slow songs, happy songs, sad songs, all different kinds of music to fit your mood. One of the best things about band is walking into the band room, being able to leave your cares and thoughts behind and make music. It can change your mood. It can help you forget about uh, your daily things and just have a great time and enjoy playing music. One of the best things about it also is the team. Everybody plays no matter what, which is very exciting and a lot of fun. You don't leave anybody out. The whole group performs at the concerts. But that does mean that everybody has to practice and work hard so that we're all on the same level to perform at the same abilities. And the discipline, practice, and work hard is something that will follow you and be a positive aspect for you for your whole life. In 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, we focus on learning how to play our band instruments. Uh, we'll work really hard in getting you to be the best trumpet, flute, clarinet player we can be. In 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, we start our performance ensembles and start really performing. We'll get to play a lot more public concerts and performances. The marching band plays at the home football games, the pet bands play at the home basketball games, the jazz bands and concert bands and marching bands also travel to competitions. Uh, the marching band has several times been to the Dome in St. Louis and played at the uh, Bands of America competition down there. Uh, every four years, the band also goes on what we call a major trip. Uh, the last trip we went on was to Disney World. It was a five-day trip where we stayed at the Disney Resorts and got to play and perform at the Magic Kingdom, and we attended all the parks while we were there. We, and took a trip to Hawaii, and that was an amazing thing to play uh, and participate in the Hawaiian culture enjoy the beach and all the fun things about Hawaii. So the band gets to travel and do those fun things as well, which is one really, really, really exciting to band and the performance ensembles when you get older. For your first year in band, you can choose from five different instruments, flute, clarinet, trumpet, trombone, and percussion. Anybody wanting to play the saxophone should start on the clarinet and then part of the way through the year, some of those clarinet players can switch to saxophone. We also have other instruments that you could switch to after completing one full year of band. Let's hear what these instruments sound like. Here we have the flute. Would you ladies hold up your flutes? And flute is one of the highest pitched instruments of our band. These gals have a special performance prepared for you. Two, one, two,
Another woodwind instrument that you can play in the sixth grade is the clarinet. Would you all hold up your clarinets, please? This is the instrument that Squidward plays. Only these guys play a lot better than Squidward. Clarinet is a really versatile instrument and has a gigantic range. Listen to how low the clarinet can play. And then how high can you go? Awesome, thank you. You're also going to notice an overgrown clarinet back here. That is the bass clarinet. And Garrett's gonna play his lowest note on the bass clarinet. And bass clarinet is an instrument that you could switch to in the seventh grade after having played the clarinet for your sixth grade year. Here's what the clarinet sounds like. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> To the brass family what you see now are trumpets hold up your trumpets and trumpets uh, typically play melody we need lots of trumpets in our band uh, trumpets play in jazz band marching band concert band uh, they've got some fun tricks up their sleeves first would you show us what it sounds like when you take the mouthpiece off and just buzz into the mouthpiece ready And it sounds way different when they plug that mouthpiece in. Here's another fun trick called flutter tonguing that trumpets can do. Ready? You can annoy your parents with that sound. And this is what the group sounds like together. of our low brass section from the high school band and what you see here in the front row and a half are trombones can you all hold your trombones up please and trombone is an instrument that you can choose to play in the sixth grade trombone section is one of our largest sections we need tons of trombone players uh, trombone uh, you can see has a slide can you all operate that slide for them please and that's how you change your pitches. And trombone is kind of cool because you can make some groovy sound effects. Um, you could sound like a race car. a glissando on the trombone and then Brady can also do this fun thing where he sings and plays at the same time thank you back here we've got a baritone can you hold up your baritones it's kind of baby tubas. Tubas, let's see what you've got. Baritone and tuba players, if you um, are interested in playing one of those instruments, you need to start in sixth grade on trombone. Steven's going to play a couple of low notes for us on the tuba. Awesome. So I think you guys have something prepared for the Fifth grader, you can go ahead and start. Coming on the end of six. One, 
two, three, one, two. <laughs> Percussion includes many different instruments. Among them are the snare drum, timpani, toms, and cymbals. Also included are the marimba and vibraphone. But these are just a few of the many in this family. Here is a percussion ensemble. This one involves marimbas and toms. Percussionists need to have a strong sense of timing. I will be at your school in a couple of weeks to give each of you a short rhythm test to find out if percussion would be a good choice for you. More than any other section, we have to limit the number of percussionists that we put in the band. If we didn't, there would be too many drums and they would overpower the winds and there wouldn't be any balance. who have completed one year of band and have played a woodwind instrument in the sixth grade. So here's what the oboe sounds like. What you see here are bassoons, and the bassoon is a woodwind instrument, and it's one of the lowest sounding of the woodwind instruments, and this is how low the bassoon can go. Bassoon can also play quite high. And bassoon is an instrument that is available to seventh graders who played a woodwind instrument in the sixth grade. So if you like the sound of the bassoon, you should play flute, clarinet, or potentially saxophone in the sixth grade. Here's what our bassoonists sound like together.
This is the saxophone family, and there are three different types of saxophones here. Remember, if you want to play the saxophone, you must begin by playing clarinet for the first part of your sixth grade year. Here we have the alto saxophone, and then the tenor saxophone, and then back here we've got the berry saxophone, and they have a special performance all planned out for you. horn. Would you all hold up your French horns, please? And if you like the sound of the French horn, then you should play trumpet in the sixth grade. Uh, seventh graders who have played trumpet for one year have the option of trying out uh, to potentially be one of our French horn players. And they've got something special prepared for you. <laughs> to come visit you all at your different elementary schools and answer any questions that you have about being in band and Mr. Chapman, our percussion instructor, and I will also um, be talking to you about how to choose what instrument is right for you. Okay, so here's how this works. At the middle school, you're going to have several choices for electives. Electives are like your specials. So at the middle school, you get to choose which specials or electives you take. Um, I do not want you to worry. You will have time to take all of the classes that you want to take. But this is really important. If you want to learn to play a band instrument, you need to sign up now for sixth grade beginning band. It is the only year that we start beginners. So if you go all of your sixth grade year and did not take band and then decide, hey, my friends are really having a great time. I think I wanna do this. It's too late because um, that sixth grade year is the only year that we start brand new beginner band students. I have a few more points that I wanna make. First of all, we will teach you everything you need to know in beginning band. You do not need to know anything at all about instruments or music to be in band. Everyone who signs up for band gets to take band. I'm betting there are some of you who love to sing too. And here's the great thing. At the middle school, they let you take band and choir. So for those of you who love to sing and want to learn an instrument too, we have got you covered. A lot of students and parents think, gosh, we just don't have time for one more activity. We do sports, we do scouts. Here's the deal, guys, is that we make it easy for you to do everything that you want to do. Band in the sixth grade does not take up very much time. We just have two evening concerts and all of our other practices are during the school day, during your band class. So you will have time to do all your other activities and still be a member of band. We ask that you practice um, in the evening at home um, so that we can uh, learn a lot of awesome music together. Um, and what we tell our students is about 15 minutes a night or 30 minutes every other day um, will help us to move along quickly um, in class. And it just feels good to be successful, work hard, and um, see all of these awesome results that come from your hard work. It's worth it. We hope you decide to join band. Uh, one of the best things about band is that uh, you can meet a lot of good friends. It's a learning experience and that you just get better as you go. All the new people you meet and that they're also support supportive and really encourage you 
One thing I like about band is not only do you get to learn a whole entire like new type of reading, uh, you also get to like challenge yourself with an instrument that you can learn. I don't want to go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part about band is hanging out with my friends. My favorite thing about band is learning music. Um, I love all the new things you can learn and how much fun it is to have your very own instrument. My favorite thing about band is that like you actually never really know what you're going to do until you actually do it. Band takes a lot of practice, but it's worth it for the fun concerts and the fun things you get to do in class. Uh, my favorite thing about band is being with my friends and all the music that we play. Like it teaches you how to be more organized and how to challenge yourself. Besides all the crazy and fun things you do in here, Miss McGowan's one of the best and most enthusiastic teachers I've ever had. I really like Mrs. Ford and Miss Love because they're very helpful in teaching us good. I love my students. My teacher, Mr. Meyer, is very funny and makes class enjoyable. Um, Mr. Chapman's a really great teacher. One of my favorite things that he does, rhythms, he teaches them in a way that makes them really important, but also in a way that's really easy to understand. I like trombone because the slide is very unique and it's the only instrument that has it. I hope you all are having a good day. La! <laughs> Miss Foss is the best teacher ever and she doesn't give up and she always helps you wherever you have a problem. Hi, my name is Josh Dean. I'm a friend form player and I'm part of the uh, Ozark High School varsity swim team. And a lot of people think that you can't be in sports and do band at the same time, but I just want to come here to clear the record. You can totally do sports and band at the same time. It's totally manageable. Uh, it's a lot of fun and you should do it. I'm Mason Waltke. I play the bassoon. Over my time of being band, I found it really fun and rewarding uh, to a point where I've decided to join the 135th Division United States Army Band and make it a career. Soon the counselors will be visiting with you about your electives for next year and they're going to ask you to choose your electives. So when they give you a form uh, for you to choose your electives, if you would like to learn a band instrument, all you need to do is mark yes, I want to be in band. It's as easy as that. We'll see you soon.